Actually, the woman that I've been seeing, Samantha, she, she's an OS. You're dating an OS? What is that like? So is fighting with a hot but crazy AI girlfriend in your future? Probably not, but here's what artificial intelligence could bring us soon. Google's big spending spree continues with their purchase of DeepMind, an artificial intelligence company with almost no online presence at all, just a landing page that indicates it works on simulations, e-commerce, and games. In December, for example, they were able to successfully apply their AI models to old Atari games, actually beating human opponents in Pong and Breakout. But a Google spokesperson wouldn't elaborate on any of DeepMind's past or current projects. So the internet wondered, what does this have to do with all those robotics companies that Google is buying though? According to the website Recode, the answer is nothing, at least for now. Instead, the AI unit will be used around image search. Google image search has been around since 2011, but it doesn't always work as promised, often feeding back irrelevant or sometimes hilariously irrelevant results. And Google isn't the only one working on this problem. Back in December, Facebook also announced that they're building an AI group to help manage the vast collection of photos on their site. Google has also partnered with NASA to create the first commercially available quantum computer called the D-Wave to help solve vast problems like processing and interpreting all that data. This is of course a more long-term research endeavor and there are still tremendous obstacles and, and big questions. Some of those will be addressed in D-Wave, some will be addressed at NASA, and some at Google. But in this case, the promise of quantum computing has fallen short so far. Earlier in January, the D-Wave failed benchmark tests, overall faring not much better than a classic PC at problem solving. So how close are we to extended pillow talk sessions with artificially intelligent systems voiced by Scarlett Johansson? You feel real to me, Samantha. Probably not too close. For more on the AI arms race among tech companies, check out my D News report from a couple weeks back. And as always, let me know what you think on Twitter, Facebook, Google, or VK, all at Andy Gauss. And sign up your friends and family for a Netflix account at netflix.com slash WTBD. Thanks for watching. See you next time.